Uh, hi there, this is Carlos, I'm here with Manu. Uh, we are pleased today to welcome you to this new Plastic SEM webinar. Uh, today we are going to talk about uh, Unity and our integration for Plastic SEM. Uh, we will learn how you can configure your Plastic SEM plugin for Unity and also how you can uh, set up the Unity Merge tool uh, for Plastic and also we will also explain you how you can uh, merge Unity scenes and prefab files. Okay, as, as you may know, uh, Unity is a game development engine uh, with which you can create awesome games. Okay, on the other hand, Plastic SEM is a version control tool that will help you uh, also with your game development workflow. Okay, uh, Plastic is able to handle all your assets and files uh, regard regardless or of their size size and it's very easy to use okay it's even very artist friendly uh, as it comes with an specific user interface for for artists that we call gluon so we have very 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 powerful tools for for artists as well and finally uh, it's extremely good and at branching and merging okay during the demonstration we will show you how you can create branches and how you can run merges in plastic Okay, now let's jump into the Unity user interface. Okay, first of all, uh, we are going to, to make sure the Unity asset uh, serialization mode is set to for, force text. Okay, this is the first thing we need to check. Okay, you can see that now we by default we already configure this force text setting. Uh, Okay, this is extremely useful if we plan to merge then the Unity objects, okay? We will uh, review it in, in more details uh, in a few minutes. Uh, the Unity objects are stored in YAML format and Unity provides a tool called Unity YAML Merge that it's able to merge these scenes and prefab files in a semantically correct way, okay? Uh, also, this is all we need okay so so far from the unity side so we can now let's jump into into plastic sen to continue with the configuration okay this is how you can configure the unity yaml merge tool to be used by plastic during the merge okay in this plastic uh, user interface we open the the preference panel and there is a merge tools area where you can configure uh, the additional merge tools okay we can see that there are a few of them already configured uh, by default plastic comes with a text merge tool for text files okay and another one for binary files and now if we click on the uh, add button we we can set the right configuration for the unity merge tool okay this is going to be an external merge tool and the, the command line to, to use in this uh, in this case is the following one okay we are Manu is selecting the, the command we are going to use okay uh, this unity merge tool by default is located at the unity installation directory finally we want to to use this tool for scenes and prefabs file extensions okay so in this uh, in this text box we, we introduce the type of the files we want to, to use for this specific merge tool, okay? Uh, by the way, all, all the instructions uh, for this configuration can be found at the Unity documentation website, okay? Uh, in at the, at, at the end of this webinar we will show you some uh, additional links where you can get all the detailed information. Okay, now that we have uh, the merge tool already properly configured, uh, we are going to start developing our game and we are going to the demo time, okay? Manu is going to, to show you uh, a real scenario for you to, to know how you can uh, perform this kind of workflow, okay? Okay, so for in order to show you how to uh, work in parallel using Plastic SCM branches and, and Unity at the same time, I'm going to basically do the following. I'm going to create a couple of branches using the branch explorer and what I'm going to do in both of them are, is going to be moving the, uh, the knives from the outside of the island. 
So let me create a first branch for that. Uh, well, it seems that I'm having some pending changes, as you can see in here. Let me first undo them. We can revert the changes. We are following the branch per task methodology, right? Manu, you are going to yes. create a branch to, to perform some, some tasks, in this case in the Unity project? That's right. So one, one developer is going to be in charge of moving one of the, of the knives, and the other one is going to be exactly doing the same. So, um, well, uh, let's return to the branch explorer and create a new branch from the latest. So this is going to be my task 201, for example. Okay, and now I will move this knife from the center, more or less, to the outside of the island of my game. Okay, so let's save the exin and you can see that we are having pending changes in here basically the movement of the, the knife I have just done so let me submit it by checking in the changes in here uh, this is going to be knife, uh, right knife move to the outside yeah, note that Manu is performing all the version control operations directly from the Unity uh, IDE, okay? Yeah. So our plugin is very powerful and all these operations like creating a branch or committing your changes can be directly performed uh, from Unity. Okay, yeah, that's right. So I'm going to create an, a second branch that basically I'm going to be doing exactly the same thing in the opposite way. I'm going to move the, the other knife to the other side. So once I create the branch, I switch my workspace to the new branch. You can tell it from the house icon we draw in the in the working branch that you are currently switched to, to this branch. Um, right after doing that, if you jump into Unity, Unity will request you to reload the exin and you will notice how this knife will move back to the center of the island because the new branch is not having this change basically okay so now as the second developer i'm going to be moving this knife to the outside of this second island the, the left one okay so let me control save the axiom and submit my change to the repository. So this is basically the left knife move to the outside. Okay, knife. Perfect. So now let's submit it to the repository. And of course, now if I'm completely free to switch back to the parent branch okay in that case you will see that none of the two changes are there now I have the two knives at the same location so what I want to do I want to merge the two branches into the main branch so in order to do that I will merge first the one uh, we created for moving the right knife so let's merge it and process all the merge. This is going to be a completely automatic merge, of course, because nothing has been changed from the branch base to the destination of the of the of the merge. So nothing is in conflict. We are not having any new changes created in between. So okay, perfect. Let's go back to Unity. It will ask to reload it. Notice how this knife is going to move to the right. Okay and my pending changes view is having some content so let's submit this as merge from task 201 that's my branch name okay perfect so now that we have the first merge done it's time to do the second merge which uh, will um, imply merging the second knife movement so let's open the branch explorer and continue merging 
from this one. For this conflict, you will notice that, well, it's telling us, Plastic is telling us that there are changes in both source and destination because we are working on the same Unity uh, Exim. So that means that the Unity Merge tool, the Unity Jamil Merge tool, will be able and will be in charge in merging the two changes into a single one. So let's process all the merge. You notice that it was a completely automatic merge and we have a new change set that is going to be created. We can close this, reload it, and you will notice that we are having the two changes at the same time, merge into the same scene. So just for you to know, for curiosity's sake, you can, if you want, div it, div it, and you will notice the changes we made. So uh, as you can see, they are pretty strange for a human being. It seems that the root order of some objects has changed, and well, basically, some internal ID are also changing. This, this is for sure something that a human will suffer to merge, but uh, a proper merge tool is perfectly capable of doing these changes okay, for us. So, okay, we agree with that. It seems that the two knives are having the right positions right now, and we can submit our changes to the repository. So this is the merge from task branch 202. And basically, that's how you can use branches and the branch explorer in order to get changes merged back into a single branch. And this allows you to basically work in parallel for uh, exchange and also prefabs. Okay, so for the prefabs, it's basically the same story. I'm going to open my prefabs directory where I'm storing this ammunition power up prefab and um, what I'm going to do is going uh, I'm going to create a couple of branches I'm going to modify the bullet itself and I'm finally going to merge it into a single branch so first of all let me open back again the branch explorer I will create a new branch from the latest change set on the main branch is going to be my task three, 301 and you will see that I'm already switched to this new branch okay perfect so let me add the prefab to my exim and as I told you I'm going to modify the bullet I'm going to separate it from the shell okay so that's fine let me select the prefab and apply the changes to the prefab itself. It will ask me to check out the prefab in order to uh, store the changes. I will agree and I will submit my changes to the branch. So this is the first change to the bullet. Okay, so going back to the branch explorer I'm going to create a new branch that is going to be the task 302 and return to the Xen. Okay, as you can see, the prefab is still having the, the shell and the bullet in the same place because, uh, as, as before, this new branch is starting from the base where this, the, 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 the other change, it was not there. So let me separate this one from here, okay, like this, and save the prefab. It will request me once again to check the file out and submit it to the repository. Okay, this is just a, a small example. So this is the second change to the bullet okay so the branch explorer looks like the following and I want the two changes combined so let me switch to the parent branch and start merging 
Of course, now that I switch back to the parent branch, the two changes are not there yet. So let me start with the 301. I will get the right bullet change, as you can see in here. Perfect. And I will submit it to the repository. This is merging from the task 302 or 301, sorry. Okay, now let's go for the second branch, which is containing, as you can remember, it's containing the second bullet movement. Okay. And now you can see that it's a completely automatic merge, even that we modified the same object from two different places. Now I'm having the two changes at the same time. Okay, so let's finally submit this as a bullet merge. And we have our prefab change. We are having the two modifications made at the same time, at the same object, merged together. Yeah, maybe Manu, we can we can check also the differences to show how it looks. But uh, yes. probably they are not understandable understandable for the uh, yeah human, right. We can basically open for this the the branch explorer, and we will be double clicking the later change set in order to get this. Well, for this object. It will, I think they are much easier. It seems that the position has changed and for this is the only change we did. Uh, if we review the other one, it is basically more or less mm -hmm. the same thing, okay? So, but of course this is completely transparent for the developer or the artist doing this because uh, the Unity Jamil merge tool will handle it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So now let me let's let's jump into the into the next section. Okay, just to, to summarize on this webinar we have been reviewing at the beginning we have been checking all the configuration stuff. First of all we we go through the configuration in Unity, how you can configure your uh, YAML merge tool and also in, in Plastic, okay, once we have properly configured Unity with Plastic and also the Merge tool in Plastic, uh, we started with a demonstration. Uh, Manu, first of all, performed a Merge for, for a scene, okay, where you can, you you were able to see in action this uh, Merge for, for scenes and also a second demonstration for prefabs, okay. Uh, just in this presentation, you, we have a few useful links okay in the past we have been performing some more webinars not focus on on the merge itself but in general in the unity integration so you are if you are starting to use plastic with unity you maybe uh, could find it interesting yeah you will find you will find basically how to start using unity and plastic how to create a new project how, how you can attach your Unity project with a plastic SEM repository and then start working as we just did. Yep, and well, now it's time for your questions. If you have something you would like to review in detail or something was not properly clear, uh, please let us know because we still have a few minutes so we can we will be happy to, to help you with your questions. Yes, we are, we are going to be answering all your questions for the next minutes, so we are more than happy to share this time to you, with you. Okay, we will be continuing uh, monitoring your, your question for the next minutes and of course uh, you are more than welcome, you can uh, reach us in our support email account, also you can reach us in our public forum, so if you have any other questions in the following days, yes, don't hesitate to, to contact us. And well, thank you. Thank you so much for, for your time today. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Bye.